All right, coming up next, a matchup to determine the baddest man on the planet. The UFC heavyweight title is on the line. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. on the canvas, knockout power for days. The question is tonight, with a challenge like this, can he walk out the way he came in as the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world? Championship fight. So more than 10 years apart, these two fighters. Some differences in height and reach as well. We go inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a Taekwondo fighter, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 165 pounds. Fighting out of Hong Kong. Presenting the challenger, Voodoo. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 20 wins, no losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting a reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Israel, the last style bender on a side. All right, this is for the championship. You can give me your instruction in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. Ready. And in those situations, normally the guy that's more well-rounded will be the one that will find success. I want to see how this plays out. Oh, nice connection with that punch. It's one thing to have an edge in reach. It's another to take advantage. Nicely done. Oh, beautiful land there by Adesanya. You hear this crowd just eating out of his hand, oohing and on every time he advances. I mean, he just captures your imagination from the 
walk out to the entrance when he's in the octagon, the fighting style. He just kind of has that thing that makes you want to stop and stare at Israel Sanchez. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one up? Beautiful counter punch, really settling in when it comes to his counter attack here tonight. And again, making good use of what is a huge advantage in reach. He's able to slip the left. Got the single collar tie. It's such a fast leg kick. Adesanya gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh, nice straight there. I guess that's the quickest way to the target, right? Just throw straight. Straight down is always best. All right, single collar tie now. Right hand punch with the clinch. Look at him drive his shin into the whole body with that body kick. Effective punch there by Adesanya. Head kick. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, collar tie. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for the last style bender, Israel Adesanya. Israel Adesanya is punched to the body, looked pretty good, but ultimately it gets blocked by the defense. Nice job there. Try to establish that jab. Slips the punch nicely there. He loaded up on that one too. Big body kick land. Ooh, big shot land. Fight. Holding on to him here, not really doing too much, perhaps just looking to recover. Well, eventually you know he's going to turn this defense into offense, but he's certainly doing a nice job on the defensive end thus far. They talk about the feeling out process. He's getting his opponent's timing. Now he's blocking everything. Expect counters as we go forward. starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. If we can win this round, I need you to get All right, so he lands a jab there. Pretty nicely done, DC. You can really control a fight just knowing how to fight behind your jab. That jab is fast. Look at that jab. Some nice back and forth action here. And they separate. Big Paul punch land. Now we get back to range. Round two straight ahead. Oh, oh, oh. Right, a lot of highlights from which to choose over those previous five minutes, DC. Let's take a look at the replay. Yeah, and for all the good that he did in that round, it was the punching that really led to him really taking control of the fight. He did a great job finding his shot over and over again. Ready, 
Second round underway. Good punch. And he lands a kick to the leg now. Pretty good work on the feet tonight by Adesanya. Goes to the body there. Oh, left hook to the head, it's blocked. You got the turtle in that kick. Oh, over the top. This fight's gonna be over this. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with his opponent on his tail low. And now he's got to hurt very badly. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. And they separate. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the feet. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, massive knee to the body. That can't feel good. Both guys landing in a pretty decent clip. Big knee to the body. You got him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, that's going to soften him up. Massive knee to the body. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. Come on now. Recover. Let's move that head. Let's move that head now. Oh, beautiful jab by him there. Really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand. Just out of reach. Well, a really good second round for him thus far. After a somewhat lackluster first round, he has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. What a punch. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Big kick lands. They are throwing both sides with conviction. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. Well, DC, no denying he's winning this fight, and it's got to feel pretty good if you're a fighter. You put in the work, and it all comes together on fight. When it all comes together, nothing feels better. To go out there and implement the game plan that you guys have worked on in training camp, and it goes as desired. Punch over the top. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Wind it up on the right there to no avail. Check the high kick. Nice punch land on top. What a tricky head kick. Hands up. Yeah. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Shot attempt to the head here. Instead, it's blocked by Adesanya. Oh, you gotta like the output. Oh, oh he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's gotta press him. He's gotta go chase that finish down now. Look at the whip action that comes to him throwing that kick. Oh, single collar tie here. And they separate. Nice punch by Adesanya. And 
and that's the end of round number two. All right, well, his kicking game was outstanding in that round. We'll see if his opponent can make the adjustments, but take us through the replays before we get there. It's always weird to watch a young fighter start to come into his own. Early in his career, he did not have this ability. He did not have the ability to dictate and control fights with his legs. Now he does, and he looks like a future champion in the making. That last round's over. He took his best shots and smiled back. All right, here we go as our next round gets Ready, underway. Go. His strong Ready. leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this He game. doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. Tonight, but he missed without. Beautiful fight. Oh! Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. Nice. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Nice punch here. Whiffs on the right hand. Right hand punch to the clinch. And they separate. Big hit kick lands. Takedown defense holds up. Muay Thai plump. Right hand upstairs. Well, missed on that one. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may flow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing. Oh! He's hurt, he's hurt bad. Effective punch there by Adesanya. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Nice head kick. Yet again, they will clinch here. And they separate. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Forth we go. Big and kick. Big body kick. Another powerful kick there. A lot of ball. Oh, big knee. He needs to start looking at the finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, straight right. That one is starting to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> And he tags him with the straight hand there. Beautifully done by Adesanya. Big kick. Oh! Well, he gets up again here, but he looks hurt. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Nice straight punch. Look at the commitment to kicking in this fight.
that right there is a high-level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. So on the sport's biggest stage, he comes up large. The baddest man on the planet, the UFC heavyweight champion of the world, your winner and by knockout here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop this contest at four minutes, three seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout and still. So there is the man they are all still chasing in the UFC heavyweight champion, the undisputed king of the big boys, getting it done here tonight by way of the knockout. And his corner is absolutely thrilled with the effort and the result here tonight. He was measured, and when there was